All right, so I just filmed this entire video and I realized I wasn't actually filming. Oh, I've never had that happen to me before and I see it happen to people. I'm like, how do you not realize that you're not filming? But I guess that I have succumbed to that. So anyway, um, let's just start over again. All right, you guys, today for you, I have my April favorites. I'm really excited to film this because I have tons of favorites this month. So I'm really gonna try to make this intro short because I don't want to talk too much at the beginning and then I'll have enough time to explain all these wonderful products I've been using this month to you guys. So let's just get on into it. I'm gonna start with this eyeshadow from MAC that I've been loving and it is called Soft Brown. I've actually loved this for the past two months. I forgot to put it into my March favorites, so it's going into my April. Um, I have just been obsessed with this eyeshadow, which is so weird because I absolutely used to hate it. It's a very warm, almost like orangey, uh, mid-tone, light brown kind of shade, perfect for blending in your crease with a really fluffy brush. With my first skin, I used to find that it was just way too warm, it looked way too red and way too orange on me, and so I never really felt like I could use it. But recently, I've just been really, really enjoying using it with, you know, a really fluffy brush and I just find that it adds a little bit of something extra to all my looks. Just for a comparison here I have soft brown, cork, and coquette. So you can kind of see they're all like in the same brown mid-tone blending kind of family but soft brown definitely has a bit more of a warmth to it. Cork is a little bit deeper, a little bit more neutral, and then Coquette is a lot more of like your kind of grayish tone. The next thing I've been loving has been this Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Onyx. This month I ran out of my Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner, which is still probably my favorite, you know, the one in black. But when I went to Ulta to go repurchase it, they were out, and I actually went to two Ulta, so <laughs> I guess it must just be really popular. It's an amazing eyeliner, but I was sort of like in a bit of a pinch and I needed a new black eyeliner, and then I remembered that I had this one and then I bought it um, in a holiday set that came out sometime, you know, last Christmas and I honestly used it for like two weeks and I loved it, but then I just sort of put it back, found my Jane one and stuck with the Jane one, but I have really, really been enjoying this. It sort of comes in your format of like the Urban Decay 24-7 liners and it is super, super, super black. There's a little swatch of it on the back of my hand and it is very waterproof. Like if I let this sit here for about like 30 seconds and then I went in and tried to rub it, this thing will not come off. So it works really well in the waterline I don't think it works as well as my Jane one, but I still do really like it and I will definitely use it up before I go and purchase another black eyeliner. Just so you guys can kind of see, like I'm trying to wipe this away and you can see there that it kind of almost like stains. It definitely uh, leaves little traces behind and I just applied this. Alright, the next thing shouldn't come as much of a shock if you guys have been watching my videos recently. This is the Cargo Oil Free Liquid Foundation. If I stutter over that, I'm sorry. For some reason I can't say Cargo Oil Free. It's like really hard for me to try to say. But this foundation is just incredible. I don't want to talk too much about it because I did a whole review and demo of it, which I will have linked down below. But basically, it's an oil-free foundation that is supposed to work for all skin types. I think that it works best for people with normal to combo to oily skin. I think drier skin, um, you may notice a little bit of it picking up on dry patches, but it still is a very emollient formula. It is just awesome, and the coverage of it is really nice. It has a solid medium coverage. The longevity is awesome. Like, it does not break down at all during the day. I think the shade range is pretty good and the packaging is a little bit weird, but it's actually, I think it's kind of innovative in the fact that you can get every single last drop out of here so that I'm not wasting any product and overall it is just, oh, it is just amazing. So I'll have that review and demonstration link down below if you guys haven't seen that and you want to know a little bit more about Moving this. on to another product that I used to absolutely love and then uh, I just kind of stuck it in the back of my collection and forgot about it and started using other products like it. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Uh, dark circle treatment. This is the brightener shade. I'm sure everybody and their dog has this because um, it is very, very, very popular. It's just a pinky tone concealer that you can apply sort of around your inner corners, on your cheekbone, uh, down your nose, whatever, just to give you a little bit of a highlight. You can definitely apply this like all over your under eyes. I find that if I, you know, just use this as my under eye concealer, it looks a bit weird. So when the rest of my skin is sort of bronzed up and warm and I just have this weird like pink under eye, it looks very strange. So I like to use this more is just a highlighter. Apply it, you know, just right around here, down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, by my cheekbones, chin, cupid's bow, that kind of a thing. It just gives my skin this brightness. I especially think that if you are having just really, really bad dark circles one day, apply your concealer and then just put a little bit of this on top and you're not going to get that weird pinky look, but it's still going to give you a lot of brightness. So I've been really, really liking this and I did decide to take off the sponge. I've had this product forever now and I just thought that the sponge was getting kind of gross, so I took it off and 
and whatever. It's a little bit more easy to apply when you got the sponge on there, but I can see how it does get a little bit gross after some time. The next product I have here is just sort of like a weird off the wall product that when I was looking around at Ulta, I found this and I just was like, that sounds very, very interesting. Like, I want to see what this is all about. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. I've never tried anything from this particular brand. Um, this is the Eclos Apple Stem Cell Skin Care. I don't know why I can't say um, AM plus PM Aqua Balm Finishing Mist. And this is from the brand, like the big brand Freeman, which I have tried Freeman products, but I've never tried anything from their Eclos line. It's all supposed to have like this apple stem cell, I don't know. It's got like weird raw apple properties in it. Like there's some apple in here from like Norway or something that has anti-aging properties. It sounds a bit gimmicky, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a weird exotic apple, but I really like this product. I'm only doing a whole review on this. I don't have it up yet, but I will soon, so stay tuned for that. But basically, it claims to blur fine lines, give you an airbrush look, a luminous finish. It has antioxidants that will shield and nourish the skin. Basically, this is sort of something that's supposed to be like a finishing mist, something that's supposed to set your makeup, think like Urban Decay setting sprays, um, MAC Fix Plus, something around those lines. And this has a little bit, or it's supposed to have like a little bit of like a skin tone tint that's supposed to help to um, add a little bit of extra coverage, that's supposed to, um, you know, blur everything and just make everything look a lot better. I don't find that this skin tone tint is really all that noticeable. I sprayed this before just directly on the back of my hand, and I don't notice any real tinting to it, so I don't really think that that claim is true but what it really does is it just makes your makeup look so much better after you apply this your skin just looks more radiant it doesn't look totally dewy I don't want you guys to get thrown off by the luminous finish especially if you have oily skin it's not something that's going to give you like this overly dewy overly shiny face it just really does seem to kind of blur things and just make things look so much better especially if maybe you went a little bit too hard with the powder and um, or you know you applied a little bit too much foundation you feel like you got a little bit of a cake face going on. You can just spray a little bit of this on. The spray is super, super fun. It just comes in this really nice kind of like aerosol spray, almost kind of container. So I'm really impressed with this and I will have a whole review because there's a lot of claims and there's a lot of stuff going on with this product. So I will have a whole review coming up, but basically if you are looking for a new finishing mist and if you kind of like the idea of something like this, definitely go give it a try. Next product I have is another product from Cargo and this is a lip gloss that I purchased from them and this is the shade Rio. And it's what I am wearing today on my lips and I've worn this in a few different videos in the past and I just love this lip gloss so much. I purchased it at the beginning of this month and the, the texture of it is just so nice. It's not sticky like at all, you know, I can kind of do this thing, my lips don't stick together, but it still has enough hold to it where it's not like oily and slippery and it just feels like it wears for, you know, 30 minutes and then it's gone. And I'm not somebody who typically likes lip gloss. I am much more of a lipstick person over a lip gloss person. I like the way that lip gloss makes my lips look, but I just don't really love the feeling of it. You know, it feels heavy, it feels like you have a lot of product on, and then it just wears off within like an hour. This stays around for a really good amount of time. It doesn't claim to be long wearing. The color is gorgeous gorgeous. It looks a lot more bright and a lot more, um, you know, colorful in the tube, but when it goes on, it's just this beautiful sheer orangey red color. So, so gorgeous, especially for the summer. It really works well over any like corally orange lipstick or anything within that color family. And just the feeling of it is so nice. So I've been really, really impressed with this and I like it a lot. All right, I told you guys I have a lot of products. Um, the next product that I have here is from Rimmel and these are the Color Rush Lasting Finish Long Lasting Intense Color Balms. I have another one in my purse. I have like a strawberry reddish one in my purse, but this is one that I've been really liking. This is the one I've worn the most. It's in the color um, 700 Not an Illusion. These are kind of like the, uh, you know, Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stains, um, the Tarte Lip Surgeons, you know, all those different types of balm stains that are out there. These are definitely like a very, very popular and hot product right now, but these, I have to say, are my favorite out of all the ones I've tried, and I thought that nothing could compare to the Revlon um, balm stains. I thought that those things were awesome. You know, they're pigmented, they're really shiny, you know, they last a really good amount of time and they're very moisturizing. I find that these last even longer and I think the color range is better. They have a lot more neutral kind of everyday shade. They also carry some really, really fun pops of colors and I just think that the color range is a little bit more fun and a little bit more exciting than um, Revlon's and I just like the formula of these better. They also don't have the minty scent that the Revlon ones do, which I do really like minty lip products, but these just have Oh, the most delicious vanilla scent. I mean, right on par with like the MAC lipsticks or MAC lip glosses. Just that delicious like bakery vanilla. 
Oh, they smell so good. And the color is just awesome. Here's a little swatch of that for you. As you can see, it is quite pigmented. I would describe this as a corally nude peachy shade. I really like shades like this. Has a little bit maybe of like a brownness to it. Really, really like it. And they just leave such a shiny finish. They're not glittery. They're not shimmery. They're, you know, kind of like a cream, but they have a really nice shiny finish to them. So you don't need a gloss on top of them. They last for hours and hours and hours. Also really inexpensive. These are only like four or five bucks. So definitely Definitely go check them out at your drugstores. These things are awesome. Another product that I've been really loving from the drugstore is this Hard Candy uh, Contouring Face Trio in the shade Three Times a Lady. These things are incredible. I think that these contouring face trios from um, Hard Candy are just pigmented, smooth, long lasting, really like top quality uh, face products, but they're at a really good price. And usually I'm not somebody who loves baked products. I find them to sometimes be a little bit dry feeling. Uh, there are very few baked products out there that I thoroughly enjoy, but this is one that I do. I think that the shade range is awesome. What you get here is a matte bronzer. It has a little bit of like a sheen to it, but there's no shimmer. Um, you get a really, really shimmery, really intense. This actually reminds me a lot of like Becca's pressed highlighters. You get something like that. And this one comes with a corally colored blush, which I would say is in between both of these finishes. It's not as shimmery and as intense as the highlighter, but it's definitely, you know, not as matte as the bronzer, which I think is perfect. You know, when you get a matte bronzer, a satin blush, and then a really pretty shimmery highlighter, I think that you just have a really nice sculpted out sheet. And it's not too much, you know, it's not too matte and flat, but it's not too shimmery and like disco ball looking. Uh, a couple different shades within this range. There's like more of a plummy tone one. There's like a really hot pink one. I just really enjoy this corally one because I love corally tone blushes. And this is just, oh, so beautiful. So pigmented and just smooth and creamy and wonderful. So I would really, really recommend these. I love everything about this uh, little trio here. The highlighter is just Oh, every time I wear this, I just feel like a goddess. It just looks so good. Okay, we are almost to the end here, I promise. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I just have been enjoying so many different products this month. Um, the next thing that I have here is this NP Set Liner, and this is called the Day to Night Liquid Eyeliner Duo in the shade Los Cabos. And you can find this at Target. I found it on sale. It was only about $4. I think originally it's $15. Now, I don't know if I paid $15 for this because there's a lot of gold and bronze tone liquid liners out there, and I think that $15 is a little bit pricey, especially saying that it comes from Target, you know, but I think that this product is awesome. Um, I did a whole Instagram kind of tutorial. My Instagram is linked down below if you guys want to go check it out on my beauty Instagram. Um, just sort of a little like kind of picture of me wearing this and it is so, so gorgeous. This bronzy shade is just stunning. It looks awesome and especially on my brown eyes, I just find that it really picks up some of the golden -y tones and then the gold glitter liner is beautiful. As you can see, it's a really warm kind of yellow toned glitter, but it is just so, 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 so pretty. And when you wear it just on top of this bronze or like by the bronze on your lower lash line around the inner corner, just anywhere you want a little pop of glitter, it just looks so, so pretty. And I'm just so impressed with this liquid liner. It makes for the easiest eye look. And it looks like, you know, I spent time on my makeup because I have this gorgeous looking eyeliner, but really it took me like five minutes. So I'm really, really impressed with this. The longevity is awesome the color pigmentation is gray and overall I just think it's a great liquid liner. Alrighty and before I move on to the skincare item I have I have to mention this makeup product here the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Oh my goodness I have done a few different tutorials using this um, you can definitely go on my channel and go check them out. I just I cannot get enough of this. Like, I look at it and I lose words. It is so pretty. And even if these are colors that you're like, I would never wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I wouldn't either. But it's great to have something like this in your collection for those times where you do need some colors. And, you know, if you're somebody who's a huge neutral lover, but you find yourself, you know, a few times wishing you had a little bit of color, and here you get almost every single color that you would want. And it's just so, so, so pretty. All the colors are really smooth and really pigmented. Some of the colors are more pigmented and more smooth than others. I have a whole also review on this. You can go check that out as well. But um, for the most part, the colors in here are just gorgeous. They really apply nicely. They blend out like a dream. Even the matte shades are just super blendable and really nice. So I am just blown away by this. I seriously think that this could be a palette for anybody because like I said, even neutral lovers, you might need some color in your life every now and then and you can buy this and then you're set and they can continue hoarding all your neutral products. So um, 
Um, I think that this is just gorgeous and it's definitely been a huge favorite of mine this month because I've been wearing it a lot. All right, and finally as my last product here, I have a skin cleanser that I've been using in the morning. I really like using exfoliating type of cleansers in the morning. I just find that it wakes me up and it's just, I don't know, I love the feeling of like kind of granular exfoliation. Like it just feels nicely energizing and purifying and when I get out of the shower, I just feel like my skin feels so clean. And um, a product that I've been using for that because I ran out of my clear cell face scrub that I really like and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, I went to Ulta again, as you can tell I go to Ulta a lot, and I got this Garnier Clean Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. This is supposed to unclog pores and clear your complexion. It also has charcoal in it and I find that charcoal works really, really well for my skin because it seems to really draw out the excess oil without over drying. It also has salicylic acid in it and I really like using at least some type of salicylic acid acne cleanser once a day because I just think that it keeps my acne at bay. As you can tell, I mean, I don't have like super terrible skin, but I really contribute a lot of that to um, how anal I am about my skincare. So I really like this product. It does have a little bit of a fragrance in it, which I wish it didn't, but it still is just so, so amazing. It isn't too overly granular and too like harsh on the skin. It's actually very gentle. So it's something that I can use every day and I don't feel like I'm tearing up my skin. The scent of it, while it is there, it is very nice and subtle and it sort of has like a like a manly scent. <laughs> sort of smells like men's cologne. It kind of smells like my boyfriend. So I like it. Like I'm totally cool with it. And I actually, my boyfriend used this over the weekend and he loved it too because we went on a trip together this month and I was like, you know, let's just bring one face wash and this was the one that we brought. And he loved it. I loved I don't it. I notice a huge elimination of my blackheads. So I wouldn't really recommend this for that. But if you just are wanting a good salicylic acid, you know, acne cleanser, definitely give this a try. It hasn't over dried my skin, hasn't irritated my skin. And I really feel like my skin just looks clear and looks really nice. So I've been really happy with this. All right. And that is the end to this extremely unnecessarily long favorites video but I really had a lot of products I didn't want to miss anything and I wanted to show you guys absolutely everything that I've been loving so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for sticking through this if you're at the end of this congratulations because this was really long I love you guys so much and I will talk to you all later bye bye